David Wajardo. My name's Abraham. We're doing seven laps in the beautiful Porsche GT3, correct? Yes. Now, to give you an idea of this car, right behind us, we have a flat six-cylinder engine putting out 475 horsepower to our rear wheels. The key thing with this car, four-wheel steering. Um, that really helps us out or it can become our worst enemy. Why worse? Because... So, like, as you can imagine, on the steering wheel, if you're smooth and precise on the steering wheel, and you take your time being, like, nice and progressive, all four wheels will, will begin to bend in, the car will begin to roll over and really sit down nicely, make the car feel like it's molded to that corner. On the other end, though, if we yank or we pull or we saw at the wheel, all four wheels get too rough, and it makes the car kind of feel unsettled very quick. Okay. Um, and because the engine's back there, when, we, when that rear pitches, it's got a lot of weight to pull on it. That's really uh, where, where uh, things get different. Okay. So we really want to focus on being smooth on that steering wheel. The best advice I can give you to help you be smooth on that steering wheel is your eye placement. Your eyes always make or break you in the GT3. The biggest thing I'm going to focus on in this car is your eye placement. If you keep your eyes up moving ahead of the car, you're going to notice everything else will be a lot easier, a lot more natural. On the throttle and the brake, it's the same effect. Smooth down, smooth up, really using those pedals to control the balance of the car. We're going to change the balance in order to create grip, uh, plant the rear, things of that sort, in order to, of course, carry momentum and really get us moving out there. All three mirrors are always set for me so that way I can take care of anything that comes up behind us. If we need to let a car pass, I'll let you know in advance. I'll put a couple fingers on the steering wheel for safety and guidance and I'll turn the hazards on. That will let the car behind us know they can pass us. Once they pass, I'll remove my hand, remove the hazards, track is all yours. If we need to pass someone, we wait for their hazards. Once uh -huh. we see those lights, it lets us know they see us so we can pass. Once again, my hand will go on the steering wheel for safety and guidance. You'll pass that slower car on the opposite side of the track. Once we're free and clear, hand comes off, track is all yours. Let me ask you, did you want to do paddle shifters or automatic? Paddle shifters. Outstanding. So the way it works, right hand up shift, left hand down shift. I let you know what the shift so that way you don't have to worry about it. Do you have any questions before we head out? No. Ready to go? Yeah. Perfect. Put down the brake, Run all the way down to the left. Nice and easy, forward and to the left. Left here, right before, right behind that Ferrari, and stop at the stop sign. Stop here. We'll let that Huracan go by. They have more, they have like 170 horsepower more than us. All right, nice and easy. We get out to that green. Yeah. Fine. Up shift. As we maneuver left, cut a straight line toward the green cone, accelerate. Very good. Eyes in, find that apex, tight to the right. Look for your exit, unwind the steering wheel, accelerate to your exit. Accelerate. Very nice. Stay at the left. Brakes to the left. Downshift, downshift again, release the brakes. Come down on that apex, tight to the right. Look for your exit in the distance, unwind, accelerate for your exit call. Beautiful line. Wow! Shift. Brakes to the left. Down shift. Turn in, release the brakes, get on that apex, look up to the right, smooth throttle, balance it. Don't pump, smooth. Release the brakes, turn into the left, turn tight to the left, open up that steering wheel and accelerate. Bring us back to the left. Brakes to the left, stay to the left, wait for the green cone to pass, now turn all the way in. Tight to the right. Open up the steering wheel and accelerate. Bring us back to the right. Light touch of brakes. Turn in. Accelerate straight. Brakes to the green. Brake hard. Turn in. Tight to the right. Okay. okay. Let's not do that. Okay. Accelerate. Brakes, turn in, now accelerate. Brakes, release, 
turn in, turn to the right. Can I, can I, thank you. First time, actually. I'm really? sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Straight ahead. Wow. 
<laughs> is that okay? Yeah, you did good. The drive? Here? We're gonna go straight, follow the white wall. <laughs> to the right here. How did you end up here? Um, a friend of mine actually. Um, I was already working someplace kind of... But always driving in your whole life? Stop here? Since I was 11. Where and how? Or um, When I was a kid, my dad always had us around the drag strip for drag racing. Uh huh. And um, me and my brother tried to buy a, a mini drag car, but it turned out to be a go kart. <laughs> so my grandfather bought it and he said, I already paid for it, you have to play with it. So wow. we, we went and I got into go kart racing. And that was it. It was just by accident. I got into go kart racing and I loved it after that. But David, when you're all said and done here, do you have any other cars or are you doing drifting or anything like that? No? So when you're done here, um, after you turn on the helmet, be sure to take this video to video desk.